for a call on a kind of keg box that's been icing up and what I found was the low pressure control is the thermostat for the unit and I'm going to show you how that works. It's kind of an old school way of doing it and uh, we're going to look at the suction pressure control as the thermostat in the unit on this little keg box. Okay, so this is this is the control right here. P70AB-12C. That's the workhorse. It's the low pressure control. There's a little picture of it on there. Micro set suction pressure control. That's the one. I'm going to show you the old they used to use these old school way. They just put the unit in and then this was your temperature control. Sometimes on display cases too and they would do it on walking boxes. Um, this is on a little keg cooler, and we'll get into this. Okay. On, most, <clears throat> on most modern walk-in boxes, you'll have a thermostat that controls a solenoid valve on your liquid line that feeds to your TXV. And uh, as the temperature comes up in the box, the stat calls for cooling, sends a signal to the coil on your solenoid. I don't have the coil here in my demonstration. It energizes, opens up your solenoid, feeds to your TXV. Box gets satisfied, stats happy, drops out the voltage to the coil, solenoid closes, then the unit pumps down. Then we would use this control as a pump down switch. So for like a 134A box, I would usually have them kick on at like 20 PSI on a pump down and cut out somewhere around three, two or three. And that would be your, your setup. So in the old days, to save money and stuff, this was your temperature control. Just the low pressure control. You can even see on the top, it'll even tell you, turn range on differential school, screw clockwise for a colder center, setting. The range or the differential screw, so your range right here and your differential right here. And they even provide you a knob with numbers on it to work it like a thermostat. You might also notice too when You'd get like your Tecumseh temperature pressure chart to check your superheat, remember these? It would have approximate settings for your pressure controls for the different applications and the pressure settings. And that's to run this switch as your thermostat. You can do that too sometimes. You get in the pinch and the stat dies or your solenoid coil dies. If you have the manual, um, You'll see some of the solenoid valves have a manual screw in the bottom. You can screw up and it'll keep it open all the time. And that can get you by in a pinch where you can set the pressure switch up to run the unit off pressure switch. So let's see our choices. You get a beverage cooler, floral, floral cooler, produce, smoked meats, meat pass-through, even down in the frozen foods, different refrigerant types. Your cut-ins and your cut-outs approximate temperature ranges so if you like a beverage cooler 35 to 38 degrees the trick is try not to um, ice up your um, evap coil like here it says for 134a 33 and 17 that normally doesn't work out too good for me I normally set it for around 37 and 17 and that's probably where I'm gonna set this K cooler today or 36 and 16 will work really good also and we'll take a look at that. Okay, this is a little tiny unit we're working on. This pressure switch has failed and it no longer wants to cut out on pressure drop as the pressure falls. And it's all unplugged. And it goes over to a little keg box I'll show you in a minute here. So let's get it all taken apart. We'll get the new one on. Now you can set the pressures on this at the back of your truck on your nitrogen rig if you want to. I always just like to set it up to the unit and do it. This is the way I like to do it. Okay, so there's the new switch you got. It's just basically line, load, you got your ground. We're gonna set the pressures. Don't ever go by the numbers on these these switches. They're never close. All right, we got some nylon. We're gonna put up here and we're gonna make a connection. We'll get her all connected up. Okay, I got uh, switches all installed. Got my 
gauge on there. It's kind of upside down. I'm going to plug it in now. So what I did is I'll go ahead and drive the the receiver king valve closed. Let's get her pumped out. And then what I want to set is my cut in first. So I'm going to go ahead and let that pump down and turn off wherever it shuts off. Okay, so the unit's off. I'm going to go ahead and crack it a little bit. Feed some gas through. There we go, let the pressure come up. Close it back down. So what I want to set first is my cut in. And I want to set it for 37 and I'll show you why I set it at that in a little bit here. But let me get it set first. You can go 36, 37. Yeah, 36. 36 is actually not bad. And then I want to shut off. I'm going to shut her off at about 17 PSI and I'll show you the temperature. What I'm trying to do is I want it to cut in at 41 degrees so I'm like a constant cut in thermostat so I don't ice my evap coil but then I still want to get the box cold enough so that it's gonna cut in 41 and it should cut out 18 degree evaporator we should keep the box about somewhere around 38 degrees Pumping the unit down right now. Sixteen. That'll work. Yeah, that's a little unit. I'll put the date and my cut in and cut out on the switch. My approximates. Then you can adjust it if you want it colder. I like to adjust the cut out. Uh, and I'll show you the box. So, just a little unit, a little bit of line set. It goes in here to a keg, little keg box. Little two glass door keg box. Got this slide rule PT chart on my phone. I got it set for 134A. So, <clears throat> Like a constant cut in thermostat on a reach in, it's going to cut in at 41 degrees and, it, and the probe goes in the evap coil and it's going to cut out at about 18 degrees. Somewhere's in there and you can adjust that. So, what we did with our pressure switch is we pretty much did it the same. So, if you go to 41 degrees, uh, 134A, it's about 36 psig. So, you said around 36, and then my cutout. 17 so somewhere's in there 36 16 i've done before too you bring it down just a little bit 37 17 37 16 you get it right in there cut in 36 cut out 17 for 134a you'll be really close so that's why you set the pressure switch up like All that right, so that was an overview of using a low pressure control as a thermostat. It was an old school way of doing stuff. I hope that kind of made sense to some of you. Like and subscribe.
and uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah to everybody. And uh, we'll see if we can get a bunch more videos out in this next year. Happy New Year's and all that fun stuff. All right, thanks for watching.